What's happening people, it's James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Whitton Town are away to Wroxham in the Isthmian League North Division. I am really looking forward to a long journey to Norfolk to face Wroxham in the league and I'm really excited for this one in the afternoon away to Wroxham in the match. Unfortunately, there are no trains running today because of the rail strikes, but the good news is the Whitton Town kit man, Dan Barrell, is going to be giving me a lift today to the Whitton Town match away to Wroxham because, like I said, because there was no trains running because of the rail strikes. And I'm really pleased that I'll be giving a lift today because, like... I'm frustrated with the rail strikes, but sometimes at the moment, just had to get used to it with a new routine on giving me a lift to the Whitton Town away matches for now. And the main thing is I'm really looking forward to the Whitton Town away match to Wroxham. And I'm really looking forward to a journey. And now I'm about to bomb away to the Whitton Town away match to Wroxham in the Isthmian League North Division very shortly. I'm currently now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club for Breakfast Club before I travel for the Whitton Town away match to Wroxham. And I've got a big full English breakfast. They do the best breakfast up at the Whitton Town Football Club at Breakfast Club on the Saturdays. Now I'm gonna really enjoy my breakfast before I get to the Whitton Town away match to Wroxham. I'm currently now just finished my breakfast up at the Whitton Town Football Club at Breakfast Club and now I'm waiting for Dan Barrell to give me a lift for the Whitton Town away match today and I'm really looking forward for the long journey and, and it should be a great day. I'm currently now just left the Whitton Town Football Club to be on my way to Wroxham now. It is a real shame about the rail strikes, which there are no trains running today, which is a shame. But I am really looking forward for the journey for the Whitton Town away match to Wroxham. This is a must, must win for Whitton Town away to Wroxham because we went into 15th at the moment. And we had a great start to the season, went into second in the league from August to October. And now we're currently 15th in the league. And I think Roxham were 12th in the league at the moment. So, like I said, this is a must, must win for Whitton Town to stand in any chance to go in mid-table this season because that's our, our, our objective for Whitton Town to finish mid-table this season. But I'm really confident we can do it, but it is a long way to go. And we're feeling the buzz already. We're really excited. And it should be a really exciting afternoon. I'm now arrived at Wroxham to get ready for the Whitton Town away match to Wroxham FC in the Isthmian League North Division. In a blustery afternoon, and the journey went really well from the Whitton Town Football Club to Wroxham FC and the journey was only about an hour and a half and it went really well and I really enjoyed the journey. Unfortunately Paul and Sam are not coming today which is a shame but I will add it onto the score predictions from Paul and Sam later and for Ben and Jim as well and the score predictions as well which they're not coming as well which is a shame but the main thing is I'm really looking forward to the game away to Wroxham FC this is a must win game for Whitton Town to stand in any chance of finishing mid table this season and Wroxham are currently 12th in the league and we're currently 15th in the league and, and I think they challenging for the top half, I think, or mid-table as well. And we're challenging for mid-table this season because our objective for Whitton Town is to finish mid-table this season because we want to go one better than last season. 
and we do not want to be in the playoffs again like last season so um, the relegation playoff last season but I'm really looking forward to the game today and like I said this is a must win game for Whitton Town and and we're coming into the score predictions very shortly I'm currently now just watching the Whitton Town players warm up before the match and now we're coming to the score predictions. I'm going to go for 2-1 to Whitton Town. The fellow Whitton Town supporter, Ben, goes for 2-1 Whitton Town as well. Paul Hurd goes for 1-0 to Whitton Town. Sam Hurd is going to go for 3-0 to Whitton Town. And Jim Merrington goes for 2-1 Whitton Town. And... Dan Barrell, the Whitton Town kit man, goes for 3-1 Whitton Town with Adam Vice and Callum, I think it was, he said, in his prediction while on the way down. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the game and it should be a really great game. Should be a fantastic game. And this is a must win for Whitton Town. And I believe Whitton Town gonna win today. Up the town. Well, hell, Ben. Oh, lucky. Come on, Sam. Come on, yellows! 
Good tackle, Yellows. Corner to Roxham. Come on, Whitham. Good save, Ben. Another corner, Roxham. Well, hell, Ben. Goal kick. Oh, well, it's not goal kick, it's corner, actually. Corner kick, Roxham. Go on. Come on! Come on, yellows! Um, it's been a really difficult afternoon. to us. The half time score, Roxham 2, Whitton Town 0. The first half, there wasn't much to say. And first of all, I'm totally honest that uh, the Whitton Town support, it was really quiet throughout the full 45 minutes. It was really quiet. And it's been a really difficult first half. And, but I'm giving absolutely everything with the Whitton Town support in the first half, but there's still a long way to go. And Whitton Town will get back in the second half because like, Long way to go yet. Whitton Town can get back in it. And oh, it's just, I'm just disappointed at the moment because like, I'm feeling literally deflated at the moment because like, I'm deflated, man. And anyway, let's hope Whitton Town will come out a lot better in the second half. Come on, town. Let's show what we can do in the second half, town. Head up, the yellows. Keep going. Head up. 
Don't give up. Keep your heads up. We've got a second half to come. Come on. Keep, keep your heads up. We've got the second half to come. Come on. Come on! Oh, unlucky! Head up! Unlucky! Boxer on the break. Hit the bar! Boxer on the break. Good block. Well, cover the yellows. Oh, yellows. Good block. Oh, just over the bar. Finish. Oh. Unlucky. Keep your head up. We we'll go again Tuesday. Again, Tuesday. Keep your head up. We go again Tuesday. We go again Tuesday. Head up, Ben. Keep your head up. Time score Roxham 2, Whitton Town 0, and here we got the Whitton Town player Lewis. What is your thoughts on the game against Roxham? Uh, mate, I'm deflated, absolutely deflated. That's with go by this. These are sort of games I'll be honest with you, we've got the enough ability in us. I wish we were winning this. It's so hard to take. We should be giving more for the club, for the fans, for ourselves as a minimum. Um, and that's the brutal, brutal one, it hurts. Um, we have got to sort ourselves out. We've got to get together, we've got to get to training. Start listening and taking on what's being said. We can't be doing our own things. Um, it's not good at all, not good. We haven't got quite as many fans as normal at the moment. Myself came to the game and Mark came to the game as well, which is really, really good. And it's a shame Paul and Sam didn't come today, but we're going to have more supporters on Tuesday, which we're really looking forward to. It's back to normal, having supporters coming to support us, which is really good. No, definitely. You know, I know these sort of journeys as well, I know it's hard for everyone. So everyone who gets you, you have to understand and appreciate you, you know, yourselves, those who are here. Really, sort of give them a hug and thank, thank them for coming. It's a, it's a big deal. Um, you know, you're, you're taking your whole day out to be here, and we should be putting in performances like that for your time. You know, and you're paying, you're paying customers, you're paying for the door, and it's, it's just it's not acceptable. We shouldn't be allowing us to do this for you as you're coming all this way. 
Yeah, it's like Sam said in the previous interview away at Barry Town, that we paid such good money to go to the away games and to watch that in the like the three nil defeats at Barry Town and now the two nil defeats here. Yeah, no, but but it's now done and dusted. We've got to focus on the next game, won't we? Yeah, uh, look, this this month as well, it's, it's going to come quick and fast. I think it's Tuesday, Saturday, every, every week. And we have got to start sorting ourselves out very, very quickly. Um, so there's no room for, bre uh, for breathing. It's straight back in. I think we're in Monday night. We've got, we've got I think it's the right thing to do, the right step as a manager. I've got all the belief and faith in Chris to, to turn this around. Um, Chris and the lads and the team, sorry, Chris and the uh, management staff is what I'm trying to get at are doing the right things, they're doing what they feel um, is the right thing to get us to, to do. What, so it's down, what I'm trying to get is it's down to us as players to start taking out on board and, and start taking it out on the pitch and doing the right thing and not our own, again, our own, I'll do this, I'll do that situation mindset. The Wheaton Town supporters have been magnificent. We backed Chris Taylor 100% as Wheaton Town supporters. We're fully behind him and we support Chris Taylor. We support him 100% and we've got to be like 100% like to support Chris and because he's been brilliant yeah. to our supporters, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, and rightly so. You know, the support's a big deal. Support is a big deal. And we've got, we've got to jump, board, we've got to jump the ball and get to, to get together before you. you you, you paying customers coming through the door and supporting it. And you're right, so again, there's a lot of love, and I know Chris uh, harps on it about it a lot about you being there. You know, we have got to be doing more for you as a, like I'd say, coming supporting us week in, week out. Man. Definitely. Thank you so much for your time, and keep, me, keep your head up, and we go again on, on Tuesday. Definitely, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. I'm now with the Whitsome Town player, Iggy. Iggy, what was your thoughts on the game against uh, Roxham? They wanted it more, they were fitter than us. Uh, two silly mistakes again. I can't have it now, but we need to get out of it. Yeah, we had, um, like, the, um, the match was really difficult, and especially in the first half, because I was on my own with Mark, supporting the lads, and we get behind the team, and it's a shame Paul and Sam didn't come today due to lie, I'm not sure. Um, but they're back on Tuesday as normal, supporting the lads. And, but we're really looking forward to see Paul and Sam again on Tuesday, because they're a key to our support. And some of them couldn't make it because of the long trip, which is fair enough. And But it's been a difficult afternoon, but we go again on, on Tuesday. We go again Tuesday, exactly, in the cup. Thank you so much for your time and keep your head up yeah. and we go again on Tuesday. Yes, thank you. Thanks. So here you go. Disappointing afternoon after that 2-0 defeat away to Wroxham. And first of all, I'm totally honest that the players have let the club, the fans, and even also the manager, Chris Taylor, down very badly. I have to be totally honest with you that the players have let the club, the fans, and the manager, Chris Taylor, down very badly. And they've, let, and they've let Scott down very badly as well. I have to speak the absolute truth, in my opinion, because I pay to watch Whitton Town away to come and watch that. That is... I to be honest, I, I don't have much to say to be honest, but we're just going to have to like move on from the game now because today's game's all done and dusted. We've got to move on to the next game now because, like I said, the game's done and dusted. We've got to move on to the next game on Tuesday, which has got something to look forward to now. And we're now a point above the relegation playoffs which we do not want to be there like last season because like I said before we do not want to get into the playoff places like last season we want to go one better than last season and our objective like I said time and time again our objective is to finish mid-table this season because that would really do for us to finish mid-table because that would be a good good achievement to finish mid-table but there's still a long way to go in the season 
and I was on my own behind the goal, but we had Mark as well, which is really, really good. So me and Mark behind the goal, getting behind the team, which is really, really good. But it is a shame that Paul and Sam didn't come today, which is a shame, but if they're busy on other things, that's, that's, that's fine, and which is understandable. And the main thing is we've got to really look forward to is the Tuesday night's game and Paul, Sam, JL, James and Ben are going to be there on Tuesday and it'll be back to normal, normal service resumed, us getting behind the team always, home in the way, normal service resumed as I was on my own today but I was with Mark as well in the, in the behind the goal which is really, really good. We got behind the team in the first and second half, which is really, really good. And as for today, it wasn't to be our afternoon, but I have to speak with honesty that, like I said, the players have let the club, the fans, and Chris Taylor and Scott and anybody down from the club very badly so things has to change in my opinion but the only positive thing is I'm still backing the manager Chris Taylor 100% I'm still backing him and us Whitton Town supporters are backing Chris Taylor 100% because he has done a brilliant job on getting us into second at the start of the season team manager of the month which he absolutely deserved team manager of the month in August or September or something like that but now we got to sort out on getting back to winning ways because we do not want to get into the playoff places the relegation playoff places and we got to start picking up points and get us up into mid table and like I said, the game's done and dusted, and we've got to move on to the next game. Before I end my today's match day vlog, I would like to give a massive, massive shout out to the Whitton Town kit man, Dan Bowell, to say thank you very much for the lift. And I really appreciate the lift. I want to say a big thank you because there were no trains running today because of the strikes and I couldn't thank you enough and I just want to say a massive thank you to Dan Barrel for the lift today and I can't thank you enough. Hope you enjoyed today's Witty Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is at home to East Thurrock United on Tuesday the 10th of January. Keep the faith, Whitton Town, and keep your heads up.